Um, before Starcade, I wanted to ask you, I, I forgot, I just remember, what were the politics behind uh, Tommy Rich winning the belt for about a month? Or actually, it was a week. It was Sorry. actually six days. Yeah, six days. I've heard a lot of stories, but, you know. Barnett was booking the champion at the time. Uh, he was fighting the fight there between uh, Ann Gunkel and himself. Uh, o Ole was not into Atlanta then. Uh, Fred Ward and a couple other people were in, were in Atlanta with him. And he wanted to assure himself that he'd win the fight. So they asked me if I would put uh, Rich over. And I said, well, if you think I'm going to do this for any extended period of time, you got to know there's any coming. All right. And I dropped it to him in, in uh, Augusta, Georgia, and went back in uh, Gainesville. Dropped it on Monday, went back on Friday, so I guess it wasn't even six days. Right, right. And also, uh, another uh, question about the belt. I guess it was in 81, we did a shoot interview with DiBiase, and I asked him the same question. He didn't avoid it, but he didn't answer it really good. Um, I guess there was a, uh, I guess Ted was going to win the belt in 81, and I don't know what town it was. And somebody told me that there was a lot of Japanese press there and photographers and that you didn't want to drop the belt to them or something like that. So you sort of changed the finish, I don't know, in the ring or maybe before the match or? Well, I did pretty much what I wanted to do. All right. Uh, I wasn't uh, really uh, ready to walk away from, from anything back then. And Teddy, to me at that point in time, wasn't ready for it. Uh, they were also trying to, to get Dick Murdoch in that position. And Murdoch being uh, probably one of the best talents there was around at that point in time. Right. But somewhere during the evening, Dickie had to be a clown. And it kept him from doing a lot of things. It, uh, for a long time, it, it kept him out of St. Louis. I don't know what his infatuation was with Red Fox, but uh, grab his chest, and I forget what whoever Red Fox was married to. He'd look up at this guy and whatever her name was. Right. But Dickie just had to be a clown at some point. Um. Was, so was it a true story that you just didn't want to drop it at the time with Ted? Oh, I've done that several different times. All right. Nowadays, I guess would it be hard nowadays with the promoters to say that to a promoter? And well, now there is there is no, uh, to me there is no world's title. Right. Oh, yeah. Uh, you go back and forth through the McMahon saga, uh, the other one down there in Atlanta, the same thing. It's. Uh, they, they killed the credibility of the bell. My world's title, World League Wrestling title, uh, as far as titles, just as legitimate as theirs. Right. 